Hello, beautiful. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a member of the family, welcome back. My name is Zakia, and each week I share decor, DIYs, and tips for living your most beautiful life. This week we'll be traveling to Morocco to celebrate the Islamic holy month of Ramadan and the holiday of Eid. This beautiful tablescape is inspired by the art, the food, and the craftsmanship of Morocco. I'm gonna start out with these gold chargers that were actually thrifted. And I like these chargers because they are metal, so they have a little bit more substance than a plastic charger. Next, we have these striped coasters that I believe I bought at TJ Maxx years ago, and I think it was something like $6 for the set. I always like to incorporate some sort of craft or DIY into my tablescapes, and this one is no different. I created a printable template so that you guys will be able to make these 3D paper lanterns. You can use any color paper that you like, whatever goes with your color scheme, and it just adds such a nice pop. You can find the template at beautifullivinghome.blogspot.com. When it comes to putting together the lanterns, you're gonna cut the template on all of the solid lines and you're gonna score and fold the template on all of the dotted lines. Now, I did make this template very light because I didn't want the dark dashed line to show up on the tablescape, which it would have, but since I made the template very light on the paper, it doesn't stand out very much when you're looking at the lanterns on the table. You will need a nice sharp craft knife in order to cut out the details in this lantern. We're cutting out the windows, so to speak, on the lantern with the craft knife here. And I'm using my ruler and I'm cutting on the inside of the window pane, which would be the area that's coming out just in case for any reason my knife slips. I won't actually cut the lantern itself. I'll be cutting the piece of paper that's coming out for the window anyway. So just take your time here and be very careful. Ideally, you want to cut this on a self-healing mat, but I used the backside of an old calendar that I knew was thick enough so that I wouldn't cut through to my table. Right here, I'm going to show you how I score and fold on the dotted lines. I'm using what's called a bone folder, and this can usually be found at any craft store or on Amazon. I will go ahead and link one down in the description box similar to what I have. Don't be tempted to just fold without scoring first because your lantern will not have nice, sharp, crisp edges that will make it look really pretty. The next thing we're gonna do is use a mini hole punch and punch wherever you see the dots on our template. The next is going to be somewhat similar to curling ribbon. I'm just using a basic pencil and I'm going to go on each of the points of our lantern and I'm just going to curl those points over using the pencil. Just do those one at a time and we only need a slight curl. Once that's done, we're gonna to begin to assemble our lantern. We're gonna use a glue stick and we are going to apply glue to that outward flap on the outside of the flap. Then you're gonna glue it as I'm showing on screen and just make sure that you press it together as neatly as possible so that your lantern looks very nice and neat. To 
to finish off our lanterns, we're gonna use these paper fasteners that I found at Target, but I'm sure you could find them at any office supply store. And of course I chose gold because that goes with my color scheme on my tablescape. When I'm inserting the paper fasteners, I like to start with the flap that is attached to the edge of the paper that we glued down. That sounds a little confusing, but wherever you glue down that edge of paper, start with that flap first in inserting the paper fastener, and then just work your way going around in order until you get to the last flap. Once you've got the paper fastener inserted through all of the layers of paper, just turn it upside down and you'll be able to see inside of there and you can open it up and your lantern is pretty much finished. You may just want to play with it and shaping of it. There you've got a nice paper lantern. And we're going to go ahead and place that over a candle. The next DIY is going to be menu place cards. So I just printed out a traditional Moroccan menu for the night. And then what I'm gonna do is take a matching piece of cardstock and I punched mini holes in both of those. And I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the menu using those same paper fasteners that we used earlier for our lanterns. This is very simple, uh, but I think very cute. Morocco produces a large amount of citrus fruits, so I thought it would only be fitting to use oranges in this tablescape. As you can see here, I'm carving out a small area in the top of these oranges that I'm going to actually do something a little unexpected. I'm going to take these small flowers and I'm going to insert them into that opening for a really cute, really whimsical vessel. And this is what beautiful living is all about to me, making the everyday magical. Taking something that we're all used to seeing as ordinary and plain and seeing it in a whole new light. I'm starting this tablescape with a basic white cake stand for some nice elevation. I'm topping it with a brass tray and a white dish called a tagine. That's a traditional Moroccan dish, which is the name of the dish and also the name of dishes that are prepared inside of the tagine. Then I've placed down the paper lanterns and I have a floral arrangement in a thrifted glass cup that I found that happened to be just the right color. And for my arrangement, you'll see here that I'm slicing these small oranges and I'm sticking a wooden skewer into the end of one of the oranges. And this is gonna be a really cute touch in the arrangement. Not only did I use whole oranges, but I'm using this sliced orange and I think it's just really beautiful. These are small thrifted brass goblets and I thought they would be really adorable to put tea lights into and they turned out really wonderfully. Now you'll notice that in this tablescape I'm using artificial flowers and real flowers. The reason that I'm using the artificial flowers is that I wanted to put flowers around the tagine and this was the easiest and most efficient way I could think of to do that. I did intersperse a few real flowers around the tagine as well. I used carnations here because they're nice and sturdy and I didn't need to insert them into a floral tube. I wrapped craft wire around the stem of a bunch of grapes so that I could add those to the arrangement as well. Here are those chargers that I showed you guys earlier and I'm gonna go ahead and dress those chargers. 
I'm just using a classic white napkin since we have so many colors in other places on the tablescape. There are so many beautiful moments on this tablescape, but I think that the small oranges with the flowers in them are my favorite. Once you've watched the whole video, do me a favor and let me know down in the comment section what your favorite part of this tablescape is, because I wanna know what makes you guys happy. Now I've shown my Moroccan plates before that I got from the little market, but these are the matching cups and they are so beautiful. They are handmade, they're made by artisans in Morocco, and they're just perfect for this table. And these are the matching small bowls as well. If you've never shopped at the Little Market, I would encourage you to at least take a look. I will drop a link down in the description box. The Little Market is actually a not-for-profit organization that purchases and sells home goods that are made by women artisans across the world. So not only are their items beautiful, but every time you make a purchase, you can feel good knowing that you are making positive change in the world. Utilizing food in tablescape decor, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated, underused techniques out there. It's beautiful, it's high impact, low cost, and you can always eat the food. Here's another quiet little moment that I just adore. I found this candlestick at a thrift store and decided to use it as a bud vase. If you're thinking about leaving the video right now, do not do it. <laughs> Stick around and stay with us. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. It works wonders for my videos and for my channel. And take a look at this. You can probably almost smell it, can't you? These beautiful oranges are an homage to Morocco and their love of citrus fruit and beautiful things. I am so very glad that you're here and I hope you'll join me next time. Remember to make everyday magic.